How to log out from your Phantom Wallet. Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to log out properly from your Phantom Wallet, whether you are on your phone or you are on a browser. So if you are on your phone, it doesn't matter if you're on a Android or iPhone and you want to log out, the first thing you want to do is to go into this page, into this one that says wallet number one. In this case, this is my wallet. Let's say you want to add another wallet or you want to log out to use another wallet. Let's say this is an account from another person and I want to use my own account, my own wallet into my own application. So in order to do that, what you want to do is to select this wallet and go in here. You're going to go into the three dots and let's go into remove wallet. But before you do that, you need to add another wallet so we can remove the previous one. So let's go back and go into add connect wallet. And now we can create a new wallet, we can import a private account. And if you do that, you need to have a private key provided by Phantom Wallet. So you can just paste it right in here and put a name if you want to. But in this case, I'm going to create a new wallet. I'm going to go and create this one that says wallet number two. Now that I have created my another wallet, I want to go and select this one. I'm going to see the wallet number one and number two. Now that I have two wallets, I can remove one of those. So in this case, I'm going to go into wallet number one and I'm going to go into remove wallet. It says even though you are removing this wallet from Phantom, you will able to re-derive it using mnemonic in this or another wallet. Let's go into remove. And there you go, guys. This is the reason how we can log out from one wallet to another. Now, just in case that you can't do that, or if there's any reason that the app is not working correctly, make sure that you have the latest version of your Phantom. In this case, I am already at the latest version. And if it still doesn't work, it will be simply just as easy as deleting the app and installing it again. And you can try it again and see if it works. Hopefully this was a very useful video for you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about this kind of stuff. Thank you for watching this video and I'll be seeing you guys on the next one.